All you need to know, and look uh, who walked in. It's the mayor herself. Good afternoon. Yeah, Sarah Pierce. Is it Pierce? How's now? it going? Uh, it is. Well, I use Compo as my middle name. Uh, Pierce okay. officially is my last name. All right. But you know, so things are so it's confused. Confused. It is confusing. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. We're here to obviously talk about well one thing quickly. Uh, why can't you find the wa- where the water is going in the uh, reservoir? So we're, as. You probably saw in the Times today, we're working on that, and we had the experts of all experts up there looking for the source of the issue. They weren't able to identify it, so now it's um, on to the next step. Is it the pipe going up or down? That's or? what we're going to try to determine next. Okay. Anyway, so I read uh, this headline in the paper this morning. It says 174,000 people are coming to Watertown. Now, that is Pretty that true? crazy. Um, so... All along, we had seen estimates that it could be anywhere uh, from tens of thousands to people to the higher numbers, which we hadn't seen anything quite that high mm-hmm. until that was uh, highlighted in a briefing from New York State. So it's really going to determine or it's really going to boil down to what the weather is that day, what our sure. cover looks like that will uh, direct where people will go who are coming to the area. But we do know that all of the hotels in the area are booked up. I think there's somewhere like over let's uh, dozens of planes, maybe even like a hundred planes that are booked to come into the Watertown airport. They're Holy doing cow. their, they're doing their own event out there. These are like um, famous people coming in. And it could be. I don't know specifically um, who. But anyone with the initials TS coming? I doubt it. No. Okay. <laughs> I think you she's going to be in Australia. You know, in Kansas City, they're having a parade tomorrow. And I saw they're not. And they're, they're, tell, they they're, yeah, they're telling her they don't want her in town. Ta- are you? I'd fire that city manager. Right. <laughs> that is crazy. I mean, uh, you know, I don't care who comes. It would attract more people. And they're going to have a big crowd anyway for right, the yes. team. Right, yes. I was that, just that reading is, about that, how they that had suggested plain, that she not accompany her boyfriend. nuts. So, uh, uh, oh, I asked a question earlier about the song Daisy. Remember that song? I heard that. You were asking about that. Yeah, because um, I met somebody named out? Daisy. Yeah, it, 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 the, the computer Hal in 2001, A Space Odyssey, did sing it. We were going to play that, but you're here now, so we don't have to. We'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> so I, you read these stories, whether it's the 45,000 or the 174,000. Let's say it's somewhere in between. For those couple, three days, everything's going to be packed. Yes, and that's the message that we are trying to get out to the community is that we are going to have a significant influx of people that entire weekend, as you said, not only on the day of the eclipse, but in the days leading up to it as well. Yeah, and you well know that this past year when we did so much paving, we had a whole bunch of people complaining every day oh, about it's gonna be, a yeah, detour. Yeah. Paving times, I don't know how many times it's going to be okay, uh, so quite you're contested. Talking, now, we have a lot of restaurants who would like to close all the time, it mm-hmm. seems. Should they all be open for all the days? They, they should if they want to capitalize on this. And we have a member of our committee who has been going to pretty much any business that we can think of in the city, giving them the information, saying, hey, this is going on. You have a great opportunity to you know, host an event or at least be open. Nobody's come to see me. I'll have to let that person know. Oh. we got to put, put you on the list. Said we already got our big sign up. I figured. Her. You saw that, didn't you? I have not seen the sign yet. Oh. Well, I'll, take the, I'll show you that during the break. But uh, um, no, uh, and, and we have glasses, and I know Kinney's has them. And then are there special commemorative ones? Um, we have glasses that we have purchased. I don't know that they, they have our logo on them. Um, oh, okay. That's the city's glasses. And then, as you said, there are a, a number of other groups who have their own glasses. The school district has glasses that they're going to be distributing, I believe. Okay. Uh, businesses ha- have been ordering glasses. So How many I don't people think there's going to be, be any shortage in, of glasses. In Thompson Park. In Thompson Park, we are planning, and I think it's probably going to exceed this, but we're planning for a concert in the park times two, so probably like up to 10,000-ish people. But um, now Those are, remember, back in will, the 70s, what was it, the uh, kite day? Yes. That was massive. Yeah. So it's kite day. A kite day, yeah. And more. But it'll be interesting to see what happens as far as viewing goes i imagine a lot of local people may not want to deal with the trouble of getting anywhere and they want to stay right in their ho- outside their homes view it from their own residence with glasses but then again they might want to go be part of 
the larger event and celebrate with people, so it'll be interesting Anything to see. downtown? I imagine people will be downtown. Or... Uh, we don't have anything specifically planned for downtown. There is a group that DBA is planning an event that weekend. They're looking to plan an event that weekend the downtown. Club's got something going on, don't they? They might. I don't know that. I can't imagine yet. Robert not having something going on. Right. I imagine that they probably would. Okay. Um, do you find that a lot of people you run into have no idea what you're talking about? I think people are starting to catch on to what's going on, certainly for a while now. People, they didn't know that it was what magnitude of an event this was going to be, but I think people are starting to catch on, especially with a headline like we had in today's paper that's been shared a bunch of times on social media of 174,000 people. Until that headline people. hits News Junkie, though. I know. 174,000. <laughs> that, that, that's a report you guys got that's, from the... That's uh, a number <clears throat> that was cited in a briefing that was uh, done by the state, I believe. Recently, or...? Mm-hmm. Where are they getting their numbers? And that's actually, they cited it, and I'd have to pull it up on my phone, uh, but there's a website that has that figure on it. I can't remember. It's an Eclipse-focused website. What about, like, Buffalo and stuff? They've got all sorts of activities there. I mean, So the interesting thing is when you talk to people who are Eclipse aficionados who follow, who go to these Eclipse events regularly, I spoke to one person who reached out to the city who's from New Jersey, and he has tried to see... Uh, total eclipse like this many times and he said looking at the map he and his friends down in new jersey who are all very into astronomy they looked at the map and they said this is where we want to be because this is where we're going to have the best view you know the uh 40 chance of clear skies i know and according that's something to the uh, syracuse that, media well i mean what are you going to do that's better than many places right in the state. and the other thing i was just reading something else about this topic even if it is cloudy, you will still experience the eclipse. It will be, you know, close to total sure. darkness. You'll see different animal behavior, that sort of thing. So you'll still experience it to a degree. It's going to mess up the day drinkers and stuff, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know Confuse anything about them. that. <laughs> yeah, uh, the exact path, <clears throat> if you look on the maps, yeah, uh, it goes, you know where U-Haul is, mm-hmm. outer Washington? It goes right through the U-Haul building. That's the exact center. So they're right across from uh, FX Key. I was telling them this morning they should do something. They should get a, a an old eclipse and like park it out front yeah, or something. There raffle you go. them, <laughs> Billy. I don't know if Billy's listening, but he should be. You can get a. They, they have made them since, since 2011, but get an eclipse. Let people come in and take a chance on it. Put it in a box all during the month of March, uh-huh. and then have them come out for a drawing. Be a great draw for that dealership. Mm-hmm. Now, why do I think of these things? You come well, up with a lot of good ideas like this. I know, and and, uh, and you know, especially when you got it coming right there. Um, uh, on outer Washington, it's right by the Duff's house. Is it? Is that where you know it where is? The, well, when he's not in Florida, he's got okay. a, he's like a lot of big wigs. He's got yeah. a Florida home and a Watertown <laughs> home, but his home is right on the center line as well. Uh, cause he lives sort of, you know, where the Kia store is. Yes. He's right across the street there. Okay. So okay. there he is. Uh, I imagine he'll be. He'll probably be uh, renting his house as an Airbnb. Well, or something. that's what I, in talking to some of these eclipse communities from throughout the country, that's one of the things that they said is, if you don't care about the eclipse and you want to rent your home out, you could probably make a little bit of money. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, you can uh, find uh, somewhere else to go though. You see, uh, see the city got any of that? I know you guys are always angling for money. Yeah, Airbnb, they're trying to charge those poor people. Right. Huh? I don't agree with that. Anyway, let's do a break. We'll be back with the mayor in just a moment. Uh, depend on it. You know, a um, mayor who's going to be um, observing the eclipse, because uh, this uh, generally happens, animals, mm-hmm. they get upset because of what happens. Mm-hmm. Um, and among the animals upset would be the ones in the zoo. Yes. Now, first of all, I've got to ask you, what are you doing? I, I, and I hate to say this. I hate to sound like I don't like the guy because he seemed pretty nice, but... Mr. Sorrell is still living in the house up there. I mean, does he just get to live there forever? No, and we have given a we have given a deadline oh, for the, end of the, the month. house to be vacated. Yes. Okay. Um, well, that's good. I mean, I don't, I'm sure you can find a place to live. I think the mayor should live there. I kind of like a Gracie this, Mansion or in New York City. It might be attractive to a future mayor or. You know, not a bad maybe. looking place. It's, no, it's very nice. It's yeah. very nice. Because I, I don't there. know who else would live there then. Right, unless you did some kind of. Um, what, are you, what are you really going to do with the zoo? 
you can't possibly buy into this idea of just plowing on ending amounts of money into it. No, and the city certainly doesn't have the financial ability to do that, especially when you look in the years ahead. Um, so it is obviously a major issue that we've been working on, and hopefully we'll have some sort but of But at some point, here. the council has to make a hard yes. decision. Yes. And that decision is either continue to subsidize a private corporation, the conservancy, or to take it over or to just shut it down entirely, which I don't think any of us want to see. Yeah. I mean, you've advanced some ideas of trying to, quote, reimagine it. Uh, so people have talked about the um, farm animal stuff mm-hmm. and the interactive things and, you know, all of that stuff. They haven't had a new exhibit in years. They have a demonstrated inability to run a business. And uh, they, because they've been to the council many times, even back when I was there, asking for more money. Mm-hmm. And yet the emotions seem to take, oh, we got to have it for the kids. Well, you're not teaching the kids anything if you just, you know, plow money into something that's not working. Mm-hmm. No, I, I hear what you're saying completely. I don't and... see why Parks and Rec can't take it over. I know there's this thing about, oh, we don't want public employees. Well, the funny thing is, the people who say they don't want public employees running it are public employees themselves. I mean, they're... well, the issue with parks running it that we have, we we've, we've looked into it and we've run the number numbers, and for the city, it wouldn't make sense financially. You'd have those additional employees, you'd have the additional benefits, and not only that, it would hinder the ability of or the ability to raise money, fundraise for the zoo essentially, because they wouldn't be able to fundraise. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I get texts throughout whenever I bring this. Some people say, close it now. Some mm-hmm. people say, what do you got against animals? Well, I'm, yeah, I'm curious to know what people are thinking. I mean, I You hear... don't want to, me to do your polling for you. Yeah, do, <laughs> do it. I'm not the um, college. You know? I mean, I think this is something that has come up a number of times in the task force meetings that we've had, and that's that. Things can't continue the way that they are. Obviously, something needs to change. I think it's great to have the zoo as an asset in the park for families to go and visit. But part of me thinks that there's there has to be a reimagining of the Mm -hmm. zoo. And as you said, you know, more interactive attractions for children. I was up there on Saturday with my daughter and granted she's only one and a half, so not really able to get out of the stroller and do a bunch of stuff. But when she does get a little bit older, you want the type of attraction where a child is going to say, can we go back there again? Can we go back there again? Something that draws people back repeatedly. And there's got to be a way to potentially do that, but not at such a high cost. I mean, there's no there's, easy decision. There's no easy decision. And, uh, That's certainly correct. You're going to make a decision. You're going to get grief over it no matter what you do. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's just that. Um, back to the eclipse. Mm-hmm. Uh, it really is. Uh, you don't know because a lot of people would just go to something like this. They're not going to call you ahead of time and say, I'm coming. Right. What we have tried to do is we are um, have it, we have on our website a ticketing platform where mm-hmm. we're encouraging people who are attending to sign up and get a ticket. So that way we can more easily gauge the number of people to anticipate. But as you said, I think it's going to be very You're charging for the tickets? Just... No. Okay. So no cost. you need a ticket to get into the park? That's what we're encouraging people to get their tickets because there will be, you know, you, you can't fit an unlimited number of people up in the park, but essentially it's a way to track how many people are coming. Just well, so the we weather is certainly an idea. April 8th can be very nice, but it can be. Yes. So we won't, unfortunately, know that until closer to the date. Okay. will impact things. Uh, well, uh, there's the boss out there. Be careful. Uh, we all got to. Watch our language and everything, right? It is a great opportunity. Somebody called earlier and said that Black River Drive-In's got something where they're going to project the uh, eclipse on the screen so people can look at it. Uh, there's a lot of interesting things that will be done. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, down in uh, in Buffalo, I've read about some of the things they're doing. Uh, Niagara Falls, yeah. Yeah, for kids and all of that stuff. Um and not all of these places are directly on the center line and so right. on, but they're close enough. So, I mean, there's there's no end to the number of things you can do. Anything going on at the fair? Where, where are you going to park all these people? I mean, let's assume uh, some middle figure of uh, 60,000 come into the area. That's uh, close to three times the population of the city. What are you mm-hmm. going to do? 
So as far as parking goes, we are going to have parking at Northland Plaza. We're going to encourage people to uh, use on-street parking. There will be certain streets that are designated for pedestrians only and potentially a couple other large lots. It's going to be on the attendee to find a place to park, and then we do plan on having shuttle buses running around the perimeter of the event to get people up to. So in other words, I would not be able to just drive up. Jeffrey well, Graham not drive be, there. I mean, maybe for you because it's named after you, you yeah. an exception. Um, but there is not going to be parking in the park. Okay. What about the clubhouse at the uh, golf club? Are you going to get it open in time? I mean, you need the restrooms. You need the food we, service. We do. Well, I don't know exactly what we will be doing. That hasn't been finalized with the club clubhouse yet. As far as restrooms go, we are going to have. We have already got them on order, enough uh, porta potties, portable restrooms. Um, and then as far as food goes, we do have a number of food and beverage vendors. And then we're going to have, as well as uh, educational exhibits for children, activities, bounce houses, uh, performances by local school groups, mm-hmm. a couple other entertainment type activities. Okay. And there'll be a long list of things. Well, it could be a lot of fun. I mean, you know. That type of thing, but people should plan ahead. Yes. Um, get your milk and eggs and everything for the house. Just like a storm yes. coming. Yes, yeah. You know, you and don't I want... mean, for the people who aren't aware, like I, members of my family, I'm going to tell about, them you probably uh, want to take Camping and all that. Can people go camping? Yeah, I mean, is there any in campgrounds Thompson open? Park or... Well, anywhere. I don't know. Well, not in Thompson Park. No, no camping. But I do think that the state parks are doing something where they will be open for camping, but you won't be able to have any of the hookups or anything. It'll just be coming in with a tent. I don't know mm-hmm. which ones, though. Mm-hmm. But there are a lot of events going around, going on around the area. I know Sackett's Harbor, Clayton, uh, Henderson, they're all planning different types of events. Picton Island, they got things going on. I, it might be early in the season for yeah, that. Yeah, a little know. too early, but... Uh... <laughs> Should be a good time. Well, anyway, is there, are there websites or things that people can visit to find out so, more? Yes. For the Watertown Eclipse events, people will want to visit www.watertownnewyorkeclipse.com. And also our Facebook page is search Watertown New York Eclipse. It'll pop up, and we'll be populating that with all the details that people need to know. Okay, sounds, well, I don't know, I'm kind of excited by it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, from the city standpoint, too, one of the major, major things that we've been focusing on, if not the top thing we've been focusing on, is the public safety aspect of this, because of that large number of people, of the increased traffic, mm-hmm. that's something that's of chief concern. Tell Mr. Wagner, if, if Taylor Swift is coming here, don't turn her down, okay? Oh, like, like, I will make yeah. sure that doesn't happen. Okay, very good. <laughs> All right, thanks again, Mayor, for coming in. It's a, a, certainly a pleasure having you. you. You're, you're good for February. We'll see you in March, I guess, Sounds right? Sounds good. All right, thanks a lot. All right, uh, Mayor Pierce is uh, here. That's our show for today. This has been a hotline on a community broadcaster station. We are AM 1240 WATN. We're in Watertown, New York. The time is 1 o'clock. CBS News coming up next. You have a great day.